Trollskogen. The, Troll forest. <laughs> the enchanted forest. It translates into <laughs> Buddha. <laughs> yes, it a does. Troll is a thing. Yeah, a troll is a thing, but it translates the enchanted forest. Okay. And it's pretty much what did you say? It's uh, it's like deformed trees. They are like formed by storms. Yeah. So apparently there should be some weird trees in here. Yeah. And should we do the 4.5 kilometer hike or yeah, 2.4? I, I think the 4.5. Yeah. It's a stro stroller. Yeah. I would do the 4. .5. Yeah. So we think that we can walk from here to the northern point of Erland. Yeah. Not which... the lighthouse though. It's gonna be on the other side of the bay. Are we gonna see the lighthouse? Hopefully. Yeah. Because the northern part, it just goes into sort of like a valley, or not a valley, it's sort of like a lagoon, a, a lagoon yeah. Um, so we're going to check that out, and uh, yeah, so yeah, have a nice day. Good. <laughs> hey Sike! Hey, you dance it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, fin! called ivy. ivy i think the ivy has grown up along this tree and killed it and then it's sort of like devouring this piece of wood here because it's uh, not attached to the ground pretty cool oops i can't <laughs> <laughs> Titta ut här, Amanda. Titta ut! <laughs> Trollskogen, or the Enchanted Forest, is a windswept, grazed pine forest and nature reserve in the northeast corner of Öland, covering roughly 250 acres. These pine trees have gotten their odd shape 
due to the fact that they've been exposed for harsh winds and sea over some hundred years. Hence the name, Troll Forest, as it reminds you of something shaped by magic. Troll Eke, the Troll Oak, is believed to be 900 years old and is the biggest of the trees in the forest. Its location was earlier an open landscape with animals roaming freely. It is also believed the oak was used as a landmark for sailors in early ages, looking for shelter in the lagoon of Grand Culavik, just a few kilometers further north, on the northmost point of Öland. And marking the northmost point is the lighthouse Longe Erik, built in 1845. So we have reached the most northerly point of Öland. Behind me somewhere, I don't know if it's visible, but it's the lighthouse that marks the most northern point. Yeah, Long uh, Erik, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think you can drive there, but we are not going to do that. We are satisfied with um, looking at the uh, lighthouse from here. Borgholm here on Öland and Borgholm is the biggest commercial city in Öland. I, I believe it's the biggest one I'm not, but I'm not sure. Um, it's really really rainy outside. We were gonna go for a bit of a walk uh, but I think we'll wait a little while but have a look at this. Just next to us is a motor that we believe is even bigger than us. We think it might be like a meter bigger and on the other side they have a have a massive slide that runs like all the way through through the car. Um, and on their car it says they're, they are from Vestavik and that is going to be our next stop next week. So hopefully the rain stops so that we can go outside and have a bit of a chat with them because um, we haven't really, we've never seen a, a car that's um, similar to, to our one, so it's, we were pretty excited <laughs> driving in. <laughs> so our plans to have a nice and easy stroll around Borgholm today didn't happen. It's like literally a storm out here today. Um, rainy and windy and the sea is just blowing up. Um, me and Seke had a really tough night's sleep tonight, um, so Henrik just took the boys out to the park to have a bit of a play so that I could rest for a little while, which was really sweet of him. Um, but now I just really wish that they'd come back because um, I'm just expecting some soaked through boys coming in at any minute. And I also have a feeling that we should probably take the slide in. <laughs> Do you hear that? That's the awning just going off in the wind. Um, we already took the slide in in the, in the bedroom just to avoid the rain coming through the slide, but we should probably take this one in as well. Here they are now. Aww. How was that? It's all good. Well, we do need to retract the slide. Yeah, I know. Give me that, have you have a look at it? No, I can hear up there, the short taking and beating, so we're gonna retract it. So after two days inside, it's been raining for and raining and being very windy for two days. It's almost stormy. Yeah, but so we're finally outside in Bori Hall. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. We're on our way up to have a look at uh, Bori Holmes Castle.
Borgholm's castle is today only a ruin of the fortress that was first built in the second half of the 13th century and rebuilt many times in later centuries. The castle was completely destroyed in a fire 1806. Today the castle is the ruins of the 17th century Baroque palace constructed by Charles V Gustav, King of Sweden in the 1650s. It is owned and managed by the National Property Board of Sweden, open for visitors and houses a museum. The inner courtyard hosts concerts, theatre performances and other events during summertime. We were lucky and had pretty much the whole castle to ourselves. And it's such a special feeling walking around exploring such an old landmark. I don't know if you can see it, but our RV is down there in the harbor. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in and try and see if we can spot it. Where'd it go? Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. cleared up now towards the end of the day um, we've just had like a movie and taco night the whole family and behind me you can see the car just a little bit more carefully and like a funny story about that car like this is the first time we've ever seen another American uh, motor in Sweden or even when we're out in Europe we we never saw an, another American one and this morning my sister texted me saying oh my god it looks like you guys are standing just outside our driveway and then she posts me a photo of another blue and white holiday rambler um, but I don't think it's Neptune, it's like another model. Uh, it's just like such a cool coincidence that she sees another one just like our one and we saw this one today. Um, so I guess it's it's American Motorhome Day or something. <laughs> The view tonight is going to be spectacular. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> it's almost like we're on a boat. <laughs> yeah, you wish. <laughs> tiny little island called Blåkulla and according to Swedish legend that is where the witches go for uh, their big Easter party at Easter.
parked up for the night and just found this pretty cool location. Uh, so we got the ocean over there and then over here is a massive play park and I think Manna is in heaven. So we're just gonna go check it out before some dinner. to take uh, just a chillax weekend. We're at the Ekerum stand at the moment and we're parked up just next to this uh, big uh, natural reserve. It's a really beautiful forest. So yeah, we're just gonna take the weekend to see if he's feeling a bit off. I think he's teething. So our stay here on Öland is coming towards an end. For the last few days we have chosen to park up here next to Halltorps National Reserve. It's quite nice. We've been here a couple of nights when we uh, got over to Öland. But we chose to drive back because there is just a massive grass field, there is no one here, the ocean is just down there, there is a play park uh, for Manet to play in, and this is the natural reserve back here, which we're actually gonna go and check out now. We've been there a few times, which is, but it's really nice. And yeah, but Erlan has been really good. Uh, oh yeah, and also we're doing laundry. Uh, but the last night we're gonna stay uh, out on Alvaret because that's been the best, best place so far. So we like being alone, see if we can find one of those spots where we're completely alone again. And yeah, this island has been really good. this idea that we were gonna sort of wrap up our past two weeks on Erland and we just wanted to talk just a little bit about our a few of our favorite places so far but all in all Erland has been amazing it's been really nice yeah yeah and the summer arrived when we were here uh, I mean we had some really good weather in May as well but we've had some real like two summer weeks and just we've just been outside in the nature and we've seen heaps of natural reserves and and cows bunch of cows <laughs> um your favorite place i would say probably here because this yeah. is alvaret so yeah. we were here earlier this week but chosen to drive back here for the last day on yeah. hold on so yeah. this is probably the best place, i say. Yeah, for free camping. For like, free camping, yeah, yeah. It's been really, really good. Um, I've really enjoyed like uh, all the natural reserves that we've seen. Like Halltorp was one of the places that we really, really liked and also revisited. Because we were just parked up. 
everything we needed was just there like a big grass area massive yeah. play park the ocean heaps of little uh, aisles in the forest to explore and it, that's been just great and also uh, Trollskogen was yeah. really cool yeah it was really really, cool. really cool and just the fact that we've actually driven around the whole island I just yeah. think that that's pretty cool as well um, but also like all of these little fishing villages that we've seen and just we've just parked up and there's been nothing there there's always there's always a fish restaurant yeah there's always a fish restaurant yeah. and neither of us eat fish but it's like a good atmosphere yeah you eat fish <laughs> i don't eat fish um there's just like tiny little red cottages and uh just the ocean and that's pretty much all we all we want yeah yeah it's been a good stay yeah so i recommend Erland. For sure. Yeah, and especially now, last week uh, the Swedish government came out and said that they were gonna uh, unrestrict all traveling inside of Sweden for the summer. Uh, obviously, you still need to like travel with your mind there. Social um, distancing. Social distancing is still a priority. But and we could recommend Erland for if you want to travel Sweden for sure. Yeah, it's been really nice. It's been really nice, and. Um, Tomorrow we're gonna drive into the mainland again and within a week we're actually gonna have our first visitors uh, traveling with us in the motor. Yeah. So that's gonna be an experience. Yeah. Uh, four adults and two kids in the motor, but... It's gonna be cozy. It'll be cozy and good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Our uh, last night on Erland, we just felt that it was appropriate to take just a little bit of a glass of wine on the rooftop of the car. Here on Alvaret. for um, Erland. Cheers for Erland. It's been a nice place. It's been really awesome. And I should really do some cleaning up here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>